Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ghost Ass Nova here and here we are back to the 400 days DLC for The Walking Dead. This time we're going to do Shell. Red's diner. It seems to be focusing around this diner. Shell, 236 days in. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. There must be a lot of food here if they're willing. Oh well, if they can actually. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Two hundred thirty-six days. I was gonna say rounds. What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. Flashlights. Oh, still one short. We never found the other flashlight. Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need Cornfield. Help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Is this near the Herschel's farm? The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. <laughs> Nate, what? What am I doing? Thank you. I'm glad I had permission to walk this way. Fire extinguisher. On these. Make sure they all work. I wouldn't expect fires, to be honest. We had to bottle our water before it ran out. Uh, t t t is there anything else around here I could have a look at? Coffee machine. Ooh, soda. This hasn't worked in a long time. Oh, well, that's a lot of help. What about the coffee? God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> Fair enough. So nothing works here. Understandable. Employees only. Shelf. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Okay, that's all there is. <gasps> oh, you scared me! Shit! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Wait, what? We what done? Disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. Wait, what? You know, uh, 
sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Why on earth do they have these? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to interact with it. Okay, no interaction? But that was the cop that I ditched on the one with weight. Alright, what's this one, Aiden? Oh, God. God. What, what is it? I can't see it. Oh. Ugh. Rabbit. Okay, that one's eating a rabbit. Why would you feed these though? They don't need fed. Uh, Alright, let's get back in. <laughs> oh, Jesus, That's awesome. <laughs> Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a a puppy. A puppy? Oh, a puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. <coughs> make a better watchdog anyway. Oh, the Becca. dead jokes. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Oh, shit. Looks like we're using guns. Then the guns. The guns attract too much attention. Come here, everyone. Wait, what's going on? Come on, we gotta find Oh shit, one. this was barricaded? Nice! This month. It was okay to be bad. Jesus. Largum. My god. Largum. What did you do? Who All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. Uh -huh. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. Not necessarily. That is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. <laughs> Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting <gasps> Vernon ditched him? Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. I thought they looked familiar. They're from season one. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition. But I didn't like Brie anyway, she was a bitch. But wow. I don't know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. 
We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Wait, so Becca doesn't get a vote? Uh. Set him free. Screw it. We'll see what happens. Set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us, that isn't the same thing. But last time. Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can <sighs> never get back. <sighs> I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Ooh, he doesn't approve of the choice. 259 days in? Wait. What? Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Wait, Boyd? Today, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman hasn't taken any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Ooh. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. Don't take too long. Oh, oh is this about Becca? Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He said it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Okay. What's this about? Wait. Oh, things are looking dodgy. Planter. That's actually pretty cool. Unfinished painting? Oh, someone paints. Look at truck. What's that ramen sound? Ramen. Don't tell me. Hey, you're here. What's this all about? It's Stephanie. What, what? happened? Caught her trying to escape. 
Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive? We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. Uh oh. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. Oh boy. She's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? Oh, looks like I'm going to be killing Stephanie. The camper. <coughs> I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Doesn't matter. She did what she did. Stupid. <laughs> oh shit. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. <laughs> She's definitely not happy about it. Grab keys. What? What good's the keys? I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. Oh boy. Woohoo! <laughs> you don't have any resources? We survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. Nice. I don't Good ever call. want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. I already know going out there is a really bad idea. For example, we've seen what happened in season one. Can we at least find out why Stephanie done this? It was clearly going to the bandits. Paradise lost. Alright then, that was it for uh, thingy. I'll see you guys on the next one.